Hi, I'm Scott Stein. Welcome to the future. Well, the future as of October 2012, because the dream of Windows 8 has always been to take your tablet, your laptop, mix them together, have some crazy touchscreen, detachable, futuristic device that's maybe a bit like an iPad, Android tablet, but still feels like a full laptop or PC. Well, finally, we're reviewing the HP Envy X2, which is one of this generation of what we call hybrids. Maybe we call them detachables. They're laptops that, have, that can detach and become their own tablets and have permanent keyboard bases uh, that come with the systems. It sounds a little bit complicated, but I'm trying to differentiate between that and something like the Surface Pro that's going to be coming out, which really has a, a keyboard that's more like a cover. Well, they're kind of similar, except in this instance, the keyboard also has extra battery space and ports, so that's the advantage there. It bumps up the battery life on the NVX2 to a whopping 10 hours uh, when it's connected like this, like a laptop, or about seven and a half hours with just the tablet. This is expensive. This is an $850 system. Now, for a laptop, that's not too bad, but consider the fact that under the hood, what you're getting here is an Atom processor. Now, this is better than the Atoms of the old netbook days, but still, this is a far cry from any of your basic Ultrabook processors, a lot slower. Also, only two gigs of RAM and a 64 gigabyte SSD. Uh, that's better than what you'd find in your average tablet, perhaps, but a little low compared to most laptops. It does have an 11 inch 1366 by 768 display. It is full touch, uh, multi touch, and it feels really nice. It feels as good as any tablet you'd expect uh, to respond. And you also have uh, in your NFC, I'm not sure when you would actually use that, um, and a, a modest selection of ports. You've got two USB ports, HDMI, SD card slot, and that's it. And there are no ports in the tablet itself. It's really made to be used as a sort of a consumption tablet device, not to connect to anything. So you'll need to plug it into this base. Um, the trackpad here is fine. The keyboard feels comfortable. Now consider that you could get a super budget laptop and a really cheap tablet, maybe something like a $200 Android tablet or even an iPad mini at $350 and come to about the price that the HP Envy X2 is at. And that's kind of the conundrum here. Is it really worth combining all of that and paying pretty much the same thing and hobbling your performance a little bit? Now this can run all Windows programs. It's a full Windows 8 experience. So that's nice. And the construction and design feel really good. This is very HP-like, although be forewarned that the way the hinge opens here, it's top heavy. So you're going to tip it over if you push it too far back. But it holds its own when you stand it on a table. If you put it on your lap, it might feel a little bit awkward. And detaching the screen is hard to do with just, yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit hard here. And you have to pull it out, so it's not really that elegant compared to uh, you know, sleek magnets like on the uh, smart cover on the iPad or even the Surface Pro's type cover. The tablet is 1.5 pounds. It's just a little bit more than a 9.7 inch retina display iPad. So it feels actually pretty comfortable in one hand. And I found it great on a train. So it's a fine tablet. Um, it's just not a superlative one. This is a sort of laptop that is one of the better convertible devices that I've seen that has a detachable tablet, but it's nowhere near as do-it-all powerful as something like a Yoga 13, and you're paying a lot to get on board this. This is no bargain, um, but it is an interesting product that generally works as advertised as long as you're treating it like a fancy touch netbook. I'm Scott Stein, and that's the HP Envy X2.